Welcome to Linux. Today we are uh, in December and we of course gonna take a look at the distributions that are out there because you know my fingers are scratching me again because yesterday we tested Android 6 uh, the marshmallow on the tablet we made a nice little video but then again yeah 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 I really want to know if there is something already out there that is you know um, even more based and created for a tablet all right and we we did a check the other day and we tested uh, this very beautiful distribution and I think uh, the link uh, will be somewhere in the description when this video ends or we will see it soon but uh, here we are we're looking at uh, December 2015 this won't be such a long list okay we take a look at Sparky Linux 4.2 is a distribution from 1655 megabytes if we take a fast look here um, it's based on Debian so let's take a look at the desktop this is the desktop as you can see it looks it looks nice also love the colors here use here the orange I like it I like this other uh, little colored green start button the P from Puck I love it well done guys nice so this is Sparky Linux uh, you can download it in 64 bit versions and I think it was also in no only yeah also in 32 bit you see that or not x86 64 no I don't see no 32 bit uh, peeps you see that these are different uh, desktops we continue with um, distribution release ultimate edition 4.9 and this is a new one in the list peeps and boom this is like yeah the first thing that i thought of when i saw this was windows 7 windows 7 black edition i i once created a theme that kind of looked like this long time ago eh? so if we take a look at uh, the start menu we see that he used very nice uh, um how you call this fonts also he used a different firefox icon you see that he played with the icons here clementine looks good and at the bottom of course you can also put the start menu on top we look at the icons here the little orange uh, 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 user uh, icon looks fantastic and this icon i don't know for what it is i think it's desktop no i'm not sure also looks cool so welcome uh ua because you're looking very nice so let's look at some specifications of this distribution um it's uh, let me see how big is it it's 3445 megabyte it comes only in the 64 bit bit version so only 64 bit processors can run this okay this should run on my tablet uh, we go to Alpine Alpine uh, Natal Capine Al Cop Nathaniel Nael Copa has announced a new release of Alpine Linux distribution. Alpine Linux is a minimal independently developed Linux distribution designed to run on firewalls. Okay, so this is kind of specific, guys. We continue real fast with Manjaro. Manjaro and uh, Manjaro is also very beautiful, always looking good. Let me see. Um, Manjaro also used beautiful round icons. Look at that. I, I, I see that you guys are listening, huh? I'm proud of you out there. Look, I, I see more colors 
I see more 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 beautiful more more everything you guys are working on the look and feels well done there Manjaro well done we must take a look at Manjaro uh, let's take a look at the file size of Manjaro um, do I have to scroll again the site is a little bit slow peeps um, it's 1454 megabytes and up to what did I see there let me see that and up to 1827 1, megabytes it comes in 64 bit flavors only we come to Deepen Linux and uh, Deepen uh, on the 17th of this month Deepen created or this release and we all immediately again see the colors even though I don't understand nothing of here this looks beautiful also the on off bottom here look at that oh, oh, oh very very nice you guys must make an English version so you know the English people can also enjoy Deepen Linux and Deepen Linux looks very very good I'm not gonna touch the page so it goes automatically to the place where we stopped and then we continue I hope I can do this all in 15 minute peeps I only have 15 minutes that I can you know um, use so uh, we go continue with tails and tails 1.8 uh, has been released it's a distribution uh, of hey this one comes in 32 bit peeps this is a 32 bit uh, operating system and it's thousand megabytes all right so let's take a quick look at the kind of windows windows desk yeah I think that's just because of the background but this looks very powerful looks very fast reminds me of Windows 2000 of course with advanced technology under the engine so let's see what we have more on the list time goes so fast always eh? when I create a video these 15 minutes they go so fast and we're looking I did not even look at what we were looking here of uh, this is par 6 of uh, by the way of course this is par 6 and i think this is just fine for a tablet i think we're gonna download par 6 and then in my next video we're gonna make a review about uh, par 6 on the tablet the well well known uh, x86 tablet that i owe here uh the file is 64 bit so and we can get it from sound so well I'm gonna do that after we did this review but then you know what you can expect in my next video clear OS Peter Baldwin has announced the release of clear OS the clear OS the latest stable uh, version of sent OS based legacy branch for surfers okay we're not gonna look at that we continue with sent OS um, and we're gonna take a look at the desktop there this is sent OS peeps um, this is also with a start menu on top I'm taking a quick look not so much uh, done but I see a nice little colored start menu there that looks good I love the gray and the black here this looks stable this is just like Apple you know I think an Apple user will love this will love this sent OS 7 looks very good guys do some more with the icons the icons look a little bit um, yeah you could make it even more colorful just try it and you will see you will also feel better about it because it's a nice operating system I can see that yes we accept your cookies oh my gosh leave me alone I'm recording can't you see <laughs> so we're gonna continue here and we see Rockstar that is also something that has to do with this is not for normal people rosa hey new in the list is rosa people and rosa is let's take a look at rosa oh nice beautiful 
beautiful very nice also saying like hey guys take a look at me uh, you know the apple wallpaper also gives kind of a look and it's from russia i think this is for my russian friends eh? this create the, these guys create uh, this uh, um, how you call it uh, distribution rosa you see i tell you sergey alexandrov that is russian i can see it was russian <laughs> okay ip fire that's also for uh, for uh, firewalls etc proxmox that is for uh, internet cafes i think and lots of things that we don't know about at least uh, i don't yeah i don't really use these things this is a sme server don't know too much about that but guys that know about it might uh, make a review about it very soon and we see elementary but we already oh no we did not look at end elementary yet let's give it a nice little look there elementary is always working on nice icons they say this is uh, uh, the guy that um, pair linux uh, stole uh, the concept from in fact uh, yeah i don't know how it was but something with a code and yeah but elementary is also out there for you guys to download it's a nice operating system and um, yeah i never really tested it before so we must make a review about that also how it kind of works and you know how it looks so let's see how long we're recording now 11 minutes so we have some more minutes peeps uh we're gonna go for chapeau and chapeau looks très belle très très belle Come on, open it for me, please, please. I don't have so much time. Ah, oh la la, this is a très, très belle. Chapeau. Chapeau looks very, very nice. This is exactly what I was looking for. This is for a tablet. Although, this also looks kind of like the GNOME desktop. And, you know, we already had that since Fedora a long time ago. So, let me take a better look at that. After this video, of course, we're at 12 minutes, 30 seconds. I think we're already at the end, peeps. Uh, I think this was it uh, kind of for uh, this month. Uh, we see Dragonfly. Justin has announced a release of Dragonfly. The laser stable release from BSD. Um, yeah, what is it? It's also, I think that is the last one. Robo Linux, we know. Linux Mint, we know. Raspbian, we know. Uh, Pento, oh Pento is back and Pento is also a very big distribution as you can see but uh, I'm kind of short in time peeps so um, I will uh, have to stop this video uh, developers of Libyan based distribution this also looks nice Q4 OS let's take a quick quickie at that one and then uh, Ah, this is KDE. Yeah, also kind of old-fashioned. Not too much innovation with... Uh, I saw that in one flow. Um, not, not, not much innovation in the icons. And uh, Pento, well, Pento looks good. But it's very big. And yeah, I think if it's so big, then it could look even better. So, peeps, uh, that was it for today, uh, for this month. I hope you that I'm gonna download to test and see uh, if they kind of uh, work out for me so I want to really thank you for watching uh, of course uh, if you think that this was a nice little video please like the video subscribe to my channel um, leave your comments behind if you know a very good distribution that you would uh, like others to use and uh, yeah I would say um, yeah spread the video spread the message colorful icons make your desktop beautiful and uh, yeah good luck creating beautiful distros out there that are also running good